Welcome back everyone. Today is going to be the methods of zenny farming. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a very long time and I apologize for the length of time that it took me to produce this video. But I did want a lot of community input and we're going to get right into it. So here's a few methods that you can use to get yourself geared one piece at a time because the grind is very, very real. So you might be wondering what you need to do now. Make a merchant. Right now. Go do it. You don't have to get max level. Just get high enough to max the skill. Overcharge is amazing. 24% increase in price. It's very difficult to put that into words because it's math and I hate math and you all know that. Basically, you're leaving money on the table if you do not make a merchant. I recommend you make one. Again, you don't have to go super high level. You don't have to do Eden. Just make him, get him up to like job 25, max this overcharge, you're set. So we're down here in Pay on Dungeon 1, killing zombies. First method would be opals. You can sell these to NPCs, or NPC loot is what it's called. The only thing that some people might not like down here is zombies are super ugly. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're they do drop opals at 2.1% on our server, which you can verify with our three times drop rates. So the idea is to come down here, kill zombies, gather these opals, and sell them. Now they're not particularly hard, they just auto attack and have a chance to poison, so you could bring green herbs if you need them. But with beginner meats and grape juice and any other class, as you can see, I'm only doing this on novice, with nothing but Eden gear and novice equipment, then you can do it on any job, especially if you have Eden gear. So come down here, kill zombies, grab opals, sell them. The next thing we're going to talk about is strawberries. So in order to get there, you're going to go to Payon, and then here in the navigation, you can type Wolf and find it here on Payon Field 2. Using the navigation, you can actually just get the whole path drawn out for you. So just follow the arrows on the floor, and it'll lead you directly to where the wolves are, and you're going to kill them specifically for strawberries. I don't know what wolves are doing with strawberries, but I'm not going to ask any questions. But you're going to commit genocide to the wolves to get their fruit, which drops pretty often, and then sell the fruit to players because people use them as recovery items in case you can't figure out the navigation system, just go to Payon and head two maps south. One thing you're going to want to keep in mind here as a beginner is that these wolves like to gang up because they hunt in packs. So if you do start attacking one, just keep in mind that other ones nearby could come after you and it could end badly. The next one I want to talk about is pieces of cake. So pieces of a cake are obtainable through Warp Girl, Dungeons, Toy Factory. When you get to the second floor of Toy Factory, you find these presents called Mist Cases, and they drop pieces of cake pretty often. Usually you can find people leveling their lower level characters here, if maybe it's your first max level character, maybe you haven't rebirthed, maybe you just want to grind out money while you level. It's really not that bad. However, you need to be careful of Stormy Knight, because all he has to do is look at you and you die for some reason. Of course, you could always ask Main for help too little reminder that you sell grape juice and pieces of cake and your strawberries don't forget to sell those to players with vending don't sell those to the NPCs getting back on track you can go get sapphires over at mobsters you can go to warp girl dungeons and Kokomo Beach and you'll be able to kill mobsters at a 75% drop chance and they sell for about 3,000 zenny uh, before overcharge Darkness, my old friend. Our fifth and final method we're just going to skim over real quick are Great Natures or GNs. You can get these from sleepers at a 75% chance. And if you PM Ritzke, uh, I can port you here when I'm online. You could also go to the Warp Girl Dungeons, Magma Dungeon, and then just head north one map. Once you get a good amount of Great Natures, you can use a quest, which I'll link in the description, to break them down to green lives. You then sell the green lives to a merchant with overcharge, and you make your profit. I think that should do it for now. Don't let this video limit you. There are plenty ways to make money. Don't forget to leave a comment on the series and let me know what topics you'd like covered in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one.